turn this mother out. <laughs> okay. Today, I'm going to show you how to keep your shoes in resale condition. And when I say resale condition, that's if you have a collector's type of shoe that you can put back on eBay or Craigslist or something like that. A shoe that a lot of people want, you can still wear it, but be able to resell it when you're done. And I'm going to show you how to keep them clean. These shoes, I don't really care too much for, but you got the idea. They're still Jordans, as you can see. And I'll show you how to keep them clean. What you need is you need your shoes, you need a cloth, you need some, I have a tea kettle here, I'm going to boil some water so that I can keep the form of the shoes. You need some shoe cleaner, I prefer shoe cleaner because it's better than bleach. Bleach turns your shoes yellow on the bottom, you don't want that. Um, these are my examples of shoe forms. You usually get shoe forms, especially if you get Nikes, I know you get shoe forms, but these are what I have. And then you need a brush to keep your, to um, scrub your shoes because you don't want to use this top part because the bristles are too hard. So what you do first is you open up your shoe polish or your shoe cleaner. You spray it on. I'm not going to actually do it because it gets a little messy. So you spray it on your shoes. Nice clean coat all over the shoe. And then you take your brush. You scrub it in a circular motion so that it's nice and even, there's no spots or you don't have scrub marks all across your shoe. Nice circular motion, takes a little bit of time. And then, after that, after you're done scrubbing, then you wipe it off with your cloth. And then you do that to both of your shoes. And I also, some people put it in the washer before they start to clean their shoes. I don't put it in the washer because again, it turns your shoes a little yellow. And when you wear them in the sun, then um, it just doesn't look right. So after you use the brush and you clean your shoes with the shoe polish and all that, you boil water. Should say you can even microwave the water. You just need hot water. Then you pour it in a bowl or some type of, or you can even open the top and dip your cloth in. And then you put your shoe forms in like this. So it keeps the form of the shoe, hence the name shoe form. So it's nice and tight. And then the boil water is, it tightens up the leather. If your shoes are made of leather, if your shoes are made of suede or anything like that, you can't really use this method. This is just for leather type shoes. You boil the water, you leave it over your, over the top of your shoe for about five minutes, five, ten minutes or till the, the heat evaporates from your uh, wet cloth. And then after that, you take it off and then it becomes hard and molds to the form of your shoe form. And then you put it right back in the box that you got it. And then you can put it on Craigslist, eBay, and sell it for like you haven't even worn it. How you clean the bottom of your shoes is it's hard, a little more time consuming. You take a sharp utensil, you clean it out. Um, a lot of shoes have stars on the front, especially if they're Nikes, or some type of symbol on the bottom of your shoe and towards the tips, which wears really easily. So when you, make, when you wear your shoes that you want to resell, you have to be very careful to put pressure on the back because the back doesn't really have anything, but the front is, has a lot of components, a lot of intricacies that people can tell if they've been worn. So you take a sharp utensil, you get all the stuff out, and then um, you just use regular shoe cleaner on the bottom. Um, hot water too because it makes it nice and tight, tightens up the, the um, leather. Um, yeah, for, for any other type of shoe, suede or, or if it's um, uh, thin material, you can't really use this method because just doesn't work. It will, it will mess up your shoes, the water. So you probably have to, I've seen people put those in the washer, but suede, there's a suede and new butt cleaner and you can use the suede and new butt cleaner to clean the tops, but the bottoms you can still use water. Just be very careful not to get any uh, moisture on your suede because that will damage it forever. And that's how you keep your shoes clean. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.